And so I'm here today because I really want to share with you something that I'm really passionate about and something that I, I, I have found crucial in my own life and in working with all the people that I work with and what I really believe is going to be increasingly important in this crazy world we all have been born into. So the topic today is shadows. What is a shadow? You know, this is something that I've been studying for years and partially, if not significantly, because I have so many shadows. My personality is quite complicated and I keep stumbling over parts of myself. I don't know if any of you relate to that, but when we stumble in the dark and we don't know what it was we stumbled over, chances are really good that it was a part of yourself that you can't see. Now, during a retreat, I was talking about shadows and one of my brilliant students asked me a really important question. What's a shadow? <laughs> and I went into this long explanation that was way too intellectual for a Zen retreat. And he listened to me very patiently. And all of a sudden, his eyes caught fire and he said, oh, a shadow is just the me that I can't see. And I said, yes, that's it. A shadow is just the me that you can't see and that you stumble over again and again and again, not understanding what that was I just stumbled over. So another way to approach this subject of shadow if there's part of me that I can't see, I'm blind to, I don't know it's there, one of the impacts of that shadow is that we have a tendency to project it onto other people. So one of the, the ways to, to do shadow work and start really discovering these parts of yourself that you can't see, that are active in the world, is to start noticing where you have conflicts in your life, where you're at war with someone. What my experience is doing shadow work with people is most of the time when we're at war with someone, there is a conflict between something we believe in value and something someone else believes in values. But the, the hidden component that makes it extremely dangerous is if there's part of me that I have ignored, like let's take, for example, I'm a demanding person and it's in shadow. I don't realize I have these huge demands with everybody I'm in relationship. They all know it, but it's in shadow for me and I can't see it. I might see a person over there as being, oh, they're so demanding. And they probably are. There's a hook to hang my shadow projection on. But they're not as demanding as they appear to me to be because I've disowned my own demanding nature and I'm now trying to rid the world of it. I'm projecting it onto them and trying to fix their demanding nature. This is one of the ways that we usually come in direct experience of other people's shadows. And of course, we can't see our own shadows. The me that I can't see by definition is invisible to me. I can't see it or it's unconscious. It's, it's been disowned. So, this brings us into an understanding of how shadows form. 